Friends and Stress. Hey guys, well, it's Thursday. I don't know why every time I say that I have to freaking think about what day it is. Um, but yeah, it's Thursday, guys. 10.50, I mean, what am I saying? 10.42. Get a load of this, guys. 40 freaking 9 degrees out. Are you freaking kidding me? That's pretty fucking cold right now. Um... I'm out here in a sweatshirt. We might have to put the heat on later because I'll tell you why in a minute. Uh, last night I was working on this guy's Jay's uh, tractor last night. Um, he came by, I told him he's the guy that sold me the uh, DYT 4000. I said I'd help him out changing the belts on it. Well, I was working on his uh, very nice Cub Cadet. I guess he just sold it for 1600 bucks. Thing looked factory new. Unbelievable. Very clean. Um, it was out here that must have been about like we had changed the drive belt on and there must have been about nine different friggin pulleys on the thing it was just unbelievable on the craftsman they only have four on that husfire i mean on that uh on that cub cadet there must have been right around nine pulleys it was just unbelievable so it took me right around about an hour and a half just to friggin change the drive belt on it that should have only took me like 30 minutes if that um to change on a craftsman Actually, on a Craftsman, it only takes me six minutes. I think PJ timed me the other day. Um, but yeah, that was pretty interesting. And then we got the Toro. We're going to do a tune-up on that later on today. Just change the oil, uh, do the carburetor, and spark plug it. And we'll just grease some up some of the fittings and stuff like that. And that'll be good to go. Um, then as for this one, well, this lawnmower shop should be fucking... Put out of business if you ask me. So my boss bring this by the other day and he said it was um, seized as I told you guys yesterday. Couldn't even turn it over. But it was turning it over ever so lightly. Ever so, lightly. so then I went underneath and I flipped it up and I wanted to take the pulley off uh, to check maybe like it was seized like the other motor how it was seized onto the shaft that will uh, oil sub there. So I take off, actually I didn't even take off anything, I, I took off, I, I mean, what am I saying, I took off, uh, I flipped over the walk behind mower, and lo and behold, this belt was split wide open and just jammed in between the little belt housings and everything. I have a couple of photos of it, I mean it was just wrapped, shut up for a minute. It was just all wrapped around this main uh, pulley here. It's like stuck underneath there and all jammed up in there. And then it uh, gripped onto the uh, to the other belt that loops. It has one belt goes to the motor and then this one here turns all these other gears. It's pretty nuts, but uh, and then we had to cut this one off because it was just so wrapped around that one. It was just the most craziest thing I've ever seen. So after I cut off all the belts, well, it friggin' runs beautifully. Fire it up right now, actually. So, I couldn't believe it. <laughs> well, the motor wasn't even locked up. I guess that lawnmower shop fucking screwed over the other guy. But now I'm getting unscrewed because I got me a nice little walk behind mower. So I don't know what um, Boston is going to be selling it for. I think he was saying right around 600 bucks for it. But um, I was looking on on Craigslist and some of this other websites and other like cities and stuff like that. And these things are going right around 900 bucks used. And they have the older type of motor on it. I looked at one brand new and it was selling for $1,800. Uh, this is a 2004. Oh, wait a minute. No, no. This is a 2005 model. Um, so that is something right there. Unbelievable. So, yeah, I freaking unseized it. I spent all night last night rebuilding the motor and everything. Fuck that. Unbelievable. So, we're going to go down to Eastern Bearings probably tomorrow. We'll get the new uh, mower deck belts and we'll continue on from there. So, I'm going to roll this out of the shop later on today. Today it, it drives nice. I gotta say it drives really good. Um, we are also getting in a white outdoors lawn tractor to be hacked and packed like Pisser does. Um, 
the guy Jay, he's bringing by another tractor today. So he might be a future uh, client that keeps on coming back and forth or so. Oh, I was just friggin' diggered. I had to friggin' delete a bunch of my old videos that were on the camera. Friggin' memory card was full. But yeah, anyway, so we're getting in a white outdoors. Uh, needs to be hacked and packed type deal. And I shit you not. He told me that it needs a bunch of work done on it. We're gonna try and get it all done by the end of today. So he can pick it up by the end of today and give me some cash. That'll be friggin' excellent. Um, we're gonna be repainting the... The foot pads, I think he said, the motor needs a tune-up on it. A couple of other things. We'll do the wax and buff type deal for them. Um, I guess the, the floorboards and stuff like that are pretty rusted out. So we're going to, uh, if, if it's like, uh, if it's really chipped badly, like it's got like something like this going on where all the bubbles and stuff are, we're going to have to put some Bondo down on it and make it all nice for him so he can sell it. He does the same thing I do, fix and sell stuff like that, buy, fix, and sell. Only he's into more of the uh, the cleaner type tractors. Um, I don't think I, I don't think I've ever seen a tractor of his older than probably 2004. Um, so he's very very uh, particular what he wants. So we're gonna make it look good. We're gonna paint up the floorboards for him, prime paint, sandblast, uh, wire brush, wheel, whatever the fuck you want to call it. We're gonna go through it, we're gonna get rid of all the rust, repaint everything, and we'll go from there. Um, what else do we have going on today? Oh, we're gonna paint this deck up today too, so we're gonna need the heat on to really make sure everything dries good. Uh, time for him to pick it up. So we're also gonna do the deck today, we're gonna just wire brush this real quick, and we'll just throw a coat of primer on it, and then we'll friggin' throw the uh, truck bed coating on it. So it'll be uh, good to go by the end of the day. And uh, yeah, but that's all that I pretty much got to say. Um, yeah, I think that's where we're at today. So, and then we freaking teach. Oh yeah, I love the C's Briggs knot. All right guys, so here's where we're with the deck. Freaking got most of it all pretty much stripped down to pretty much bare metal. Pretty much as good as it's gonna get. Um, did a little sandblasting on it here and there, up and along in the back there. But, um, definitely a lot better than what it was, that's for damn sure. Uh, I did have to do a quick little welding job right in there, but that was no big deal. It had a slight little crack into it, I just didn't want to saw it with a crack in it. So I just hit it with a welder, and I'm just getting ready to prime it up real good. Um, I'm going to be using the Rust-Oleum primer. Uh, you should be using um, uh, primer surfacer, but due to the fact that we're on a low budget and I don't want to go to the auto parts store just yet, we're going to shoot it real quick with the Rust-Oleum. So, I'm going to tape off the wheels, tape off the uh, little son of a bitch right there, and this thing is good to go. Alright guys, well we just got done doing a tune-up on this Toro 521 here. It will, and it was pretty damn black, and they do the most stupidest things on these Toros. In order to change the friggin' oil, you need to friggin' take off the tire just to friggin' get that that. And that stupid piece there was friggin' stuck on there. So it kind of sort of jimmy something in there. It ended up hammering a friggin' socket on the thing and just beating it in, and it finally gripped in right so I could twist and pull off. Um, but that was just unbelievable. So I did the carburetor on it as well, clean it out. It was pretty clean, but I just uh, threw the uh, needle in the jet in the uh, chem dip there for, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. And while that was uh, sitting, I filled up the oil, did the oil on it, and the only thing left to do on it now was just do the spark plug. Um, oh, I guess sneeze, son of a bitch. Well, I guess not, Never mind. All right, as for the deck, I got the first coat of primer on it. Pretty nice job so far. Um, it's definitely pretty pitted over here and down around over here, but whatever. What can you do? Uh, I ain't gonna freaking throw Bondo on a mower deck, that's for damn sure. Um, especially if it's not gonna be mine, and we're only gonna solve for about 80 90 bucks or so. So, uh, we're gonna, gonna freaking put a coat of uh, the Rhino coat on it and spray it up and this thing will be out of here hopefully the weekend it sells um 
So I'm just waiting for the guy Jay to drop off his tractor. He said he was supposed to be here in a half hour. Well, he said that almost two and a half hours ago. <laughs> so I don't know what happened. Knowing him, the trailer probably fell off his uh, car. Unbelievable. But, um, yeah, we're doing pretty good. Tomorrow I'll probably go down to Easton Bearings and pick up the uh, belts for this. Um, and just do this up real quick, so we'll be uh, good to go. But that's where we're at. Kind of sort of clean up a little yard a little bit. Um, not nothing too special, but looks a little cleaner anyway. As for the scrap metal, well, that's pretty much freaking dick down the scrap metal corner over there. Uh, I'm gonna. We might. Uh, I might grab my boss's trailer tomorrow. And uh, I'll just probably load everything up on that and just tow it with the Explorer just to bring to the scrap mill and have a little extra cash for the weekend uh, for when we go to pick up the truck or uh, try and purchase a new truck. Um, so I'm really hoping to get something down at the auction. That would be pretty good. Uh, when we drove by the other day, actually when we drove by yesterday, it seemed like there was a lot of pickup trucks in the uh, parking lot. So they had a couple Dodges. Uh, couple of Fords. I think I saw like a GMC and maybe a Chevy. Um, but if I can get like a Dodge pretty cheap, I might purchase a Dodge. Um, I mean, even though the ball joints are going to come flying out on me, but if it's in good shape, I'll probably buy it. Um, Got to watch out for the trans on those things too, because those things tend to explode. Um, I know you just don't know really what you're going to be buying down there, but we'll have to wait and see. But I'm really shooting for another F-150, so we'll have to wait and see. So, Alright guys, I want to make a quick video guy. of the tractor, because this thing is going to be an in and out type deal. Uh, the owner is going to help me just do some taping and wants to learn how to paint this thing. So, it's pretty much a rust bucket. We got a little panel's bad. Uh, the same side on this side, we got the deck we're going to work on. And we got the whole back part. I mean, it's pretty much all rusted out, but we're going to fix it up. The hood's uh, pretty much busted to pieces, so we're going to do some quick little welding on it. Something on the frame, like a little bracket or something to hold everything in place. But it's going to be a wham bammer. Get it out of here, in out, and make a quick little 60 bucks off the deal. So, yeah, cheers it. Alright, so here's where we're at the white outdoors. I got uh, pretty much everything all taped up. Pretty much ready to go. This is pretty much how much the dude wants me to tape everything off. For what we're going to be painting is mainly in this section and the full boards in that main little section right there where the sticker goes. I already got the foot pedals off, got the seat off, got a couple of other things off here and there. Um, but there is still other spots that we're not going to be able to fix. I mean, he does have this right here and a little bit right down there. Same spot over here, same spot on that side, you know. So we're just going to going to make it look good. If it was in my, my opinion, I'd be painting the whole rear fender. I'd peel off the rest of the stickers. Unbolt the last two bolts, pull the fender off, pull them all stupid plastic pieces off, hang it from the ceiling, and spray it. That would be my idea. But uh, he just doesn't want to, doesn't want to do it. I mean, look, we even got a spot right there. It's like, come on. But at least it's solid anyway. But we're gonna, we're gonna grind her all down. We've got the battery tray right here. This is gonna get painted up as well. Uh, started a little bit on the deck, but didn't really get far. Um, so we're gonna continue on with this a little bit later, but we'll go and then we chooch, you know. So, but uh, yeah. Oh, we still gotta reassemble the hood. This thing's a freaking mess. He should have just freaking parted it out, but whatever. That's a 50-inch deck on that thing. That does not look like a 50-inch deck. Huh? Maybe it is. I don't know. Looks kind of like a 42, but uh, yeah, so anyway, what the hell, LT16, yeah, this thing definitely had a 16 horse motor and not a 19, I already cut off the craftsman, I already know this isn't the original motor, in it. original motor said craft, so I actually ripped those off for them, I stuck them right, out of guys, well, we've just had one hell of a but, uh, friggin' yeah, day right yeah. now, it's, um, I don't even know what time it was. Seven something right now. Yeah, 7.02. Um, even though you guys can't even fucking see it, but yeah, 7.02. Just got back from dinner. Um, this is where I left off with, with the guy Jay there. 
a uh, little bit change of plans type deal. And what we ended up doing was we ended up uh, taping all this off like I showed you guys before. And then we actually, we found a little rust spot on the back side here. So we just decided to pretty much go from here down. We kind of got like a little contour line that goes down and around. So it kind of fades away. Um, but it looks really nice. I gotta say it came out really good. I must throw uh, one more quick little coat of paint on tonight. Let it set up in the morning, and then the guy's going to come back tomorrow morning, and we're going to knock this thing out of the park. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do with the hood for it. Um, I mean, it's just so friggin' melted and mangled. And, I mean, it's just a friggin' mess, so... I'm going to friggin' look and take a better look at it. Just checking everything out on it. Um, I mean... Yeah, that's gonna be a freaking problem. I mean, it's just so melted right here. So I gotta, I gotta figure something out tonight to get it ready for tomorrow. Um, also got this uh, blower, chipper, not blower, but uh, sucker up vac in today. Well, kind of sort of got it in today. Dwayne dropped it off, and then the guy that owns this tractor ended up buying that off of him for 25 bucks. So I thought that was pretty funny. Um, I'll show you what else we got in the backyard. We got a few new things. Turn the lights. There's the exhaust manifold thing. I gotta throw one more coat on that. And we also got a different snowblower in over here. It's an Atlas. I don't know anything about it, but it's kind of old. It's probably like a 90s, 80s model. Um, got this deck that of his. We're gonna take the mandrel off that. What the hell? I see blue lights. Son of a bitch, I'm under arrest. Over there somewhere. Um, oh yeah, a lot of freaking broken lights. Um, so we're gonna take the mandrels off this and scrap the deck. Then over here we got a Craftsman. Uh, I don't even know what it's called. It is a Craftsman LTH 1750 Limited Edition. Uh, it's got a 17.5 Kohler in it. Um, so it's pretty nice, got the nice little John Deere tire type deals on it. Um, electronic PTO on it, it's pretty nice, so uh, I guess we're going to do a tune-up on that tomorrow. And I don't know what else we're doing with it, so that's pretty much all that I know. Um, but that's about it. I'm hoping to rack up some money before the end of the weekend, or actually before Saturday anyway. And we'll call our friggin' day. Uh, we got the second coat of paint, by the way, on the uh, on the mower deck. So that looks pretty good. I'm gonna fire one last quick coat of that on it tonight, and it'll be friggin' awesome. Gonna do one more quick coat on this, get this done, and I'm calling it quits for the day. So I'm gonna parse this video together after I just paint this thing up real quick, and hopefully it'll be uploaded within about two, three hours or so. So uh, yeah. We'll take it from there. Sunt of a bitch. It's been a long friggin' day. So anyway guys, till tomorrow. You know the routine. Keep on choochin' in the free world. Alright, well I guess we're not done for the day. Son of a bitch. I got a little bit too anxious and well, I had to friggin' peel up the tape to see how good it looked and you wanna know something? It looks really good. Friggin' now you guys can see the body line and what I was doing. I mean, right there and then it kind of sort of fades up, 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 and then bam. Looks excellent. So, I'm not too happy with this corner though. It kind of spewed back just a little bit, but I can clean that up. No big deal. Um, and this thing looks really good. Still got a rust hole right here and right here, but I think we can, uh, I think I can work something out right there. I could cover that up with something. Um, but it looks really good in the back. We got the sticker all unwrapped, and well, I'll wait for him to do that tomorrow and finish it up because he was pretty anxious to check it out. So yeah, looks really good, I gotta say. Yeah. All right, now it's time to upload the video. After time, son of a bitch, it's time to upload the video. Wow, that was a freaking tongue twister. <laughs>